So how about that music video to Choker? First off, the song is such a bop. I've been jamming out to that song the entirety of the day, just cranking a full volume in my car as I drove the college, drove back home. And it's such a bop, I absolutely love the song. And the music video is super interesting as well. There are a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of little teases in there, a lot of tie-ins with the lyrics, as well as a lot of theories. So let's just go ahead and talk about all those. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, I hope you're having a good day out there. If you're watching this in the morning, I hope you're going to have a good day. If you're watching this in the afternoon, I hope your day is going well so far. And if you're watching this in the evening, I hope you had a really great day today. Anyway, let's just dive right into this video because there's a lot of stuff to cover here. So this is a music video analysis of Choker. If you want a full lyric analysis of Choker, I'm going to send you to two places. Both places will be in the description box below. Number one is the pop song professor. Of course, he's really great with all this, being an English teacher and all. And the second one is someone who I've been following on Twitter. They've been posting a lot of great theories. We're going to cover some of her theories on the channel really soon. It's Ava. So both of their links are in the description box below. Anyway, let's get into the music video analysis. So the first shot we get is the Psy logo inside of Big Fun Toy Store in Columbus, Ohio. We see that the lights are off and the coffee mug that's been on live.20pilots.com is just chilling in the background. Now, for those of you who have seen the video where I, I talked about this mug when it first showed up, I got really angry because you couldn't click on this mug. You couldn't buy this mug at all. It was just there and it was teasing me because I love coffee and I really wanted this mug. And I made that pretty clear in the Artopia video. But today, Michelle Collins on Instagram contacts me saying, hey, you can buy the mug now. And I immediately drop everything I was doing. I quit what I was doing. I was practicing piano for an exam. I stopped. I went to my laptop. I bought that mug. And that is honestly the thing I'm most excited to get. I bought the box set, but I'm more excited about this mug. So I am the happiest person in the world right now. And Michelle Collins, thank you again very, very, very much. I really, really appreciate it. So once again, with the first shot, Psy logo with the coffee mug in the background, then the lights start to turn on in the store, and we get some shots of some lights places. We get some slime there. We get the shot of the ceiling. We get a shot of the counter, and we see some dinosaurs in the background. We see a horse. We see some yo-yos, some cars. But an interesting thing is that there's some dice there. And the reason why I say this is interesting because it's a weird thing to have right there in frame. I mean, it's just, to me, it seems a bit odd, especially that green die because it does have some words on it. Now, I don't know if the words on this dice are from the manufacturer themselves or this is a 21 Pilots thing, because 21 Pilots did say that there is a lot to uncover in this music video, so maybe there is just something with this die. Who knows? Then we get this little T-Rex with a sign around his neck saying, Stop by everything with a happy face made out of two exclamation points. Now this sign pops up a couple of times in the video in the background as well as in this shot, both on this T-Rex and not on this T-Rex. Keep this sign in mind, I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. We also get a shot of some slime next to some balls. And that is, I think, a reference to the one time where Tyler calls all slime balls on Twitter. And I absolutely love it. So we get a shot of behind the counter and some signs that are right behind Josh in this video. Some of the ones that are in focus are buy our stuff please with a little superhero on it, smile, you're on camera, and bubble man. Now, Bubble Man's kind of interesting because we've had Message Man before, and on this album we're getting Bounce Man. So who is this Bubble Man? Am I thinking too much into this? Probably. But maybe not. The very next shot is one of my favorite shots of the music video because the lights turn on and we get the shot of the coffee mug in all its glory. I'm super excited. Like, I can't describe to you how excited I am for this coffee mug. I know it's just a coffee mug. But, I love coffee. <laughs> Plus, 21 Pilots themed coffee mugs are really cool. 
So we finally get our first shot outside of Big Fun because we get the windows outside showing the have you seen him in reference to Ned on the very front of the shop. Pan over a little bit more, we get the you are loved sign and you are loved out there person watching this video. Don't forget that you are loved, you are valued and I really appreciate you all. Then we finally see Tyler walk up to Big Fun and there's a couple things I want to note about his outfit. We really haven't seen Tyler dress like this in a music video at all. Like, he is wearing this checkered shirt. He's wearing an orange beanie. We've seen the red beanie, but we've never seen an orange one. We also get this shirt, which we'll talk about later on in the music video because it's hilarious. But the outfit he's wearing is just very interesting, almost like he's undercover or like trying to go in some disguise. So then he enters Big Fun Toy Store. Then we get the wide shot of when he starts singing a little bit farther back. And there is a lot to pick apart here. So the first thing is I want to show you is that we get the Shy Away album cover right in this little thing of the drawings right over here. And let's talk about these drawings in the background because they're kind of creepy. I mean, just look at what we got here. We got like this ant biting off the guy's head. We got some creepy figures talking to this person. We got this one, which looks fine on the surface. I mean, if we look at it further, we could probably get darker. And for some reason, we got professional wrestler Yokozuna in the background. I don't know why there but the, just the drawings there are a little bit creepy. Then we get a shot of Josh behind the counter not noticing Tyler yet. Really nothing to talk about here because it does get a little bit blurry even if we try to like focus in on something. It's just a little bit blurry in the background until Josh notices then there's like he gets less blurry. You can see there's a couple of figures in the background that's Barbie. Tyler says, hey, what's up? And Josh just kind of shuts him down like, okay, then goes back to reading his book. Now let's talk about the book that Josh is reading for a moment. The book he is reading is If by Nicholas Bourbaki. Yes, this is an actual book. Yes, there was an actual Nicholas Bourbaki. And no, don't read the book. I've seen many warnings of you shouldn't read the book, that it will traumatize you, it will cause some trigger warnings, and Real Bear Media, the people who film all Tony Pilots music videos, legit came out and said, yeah, no, we didn't do our research into the books, don't read it, it does not represent the values of the band whatsoever, so just don't read If by Nicholas Borbaki, just know it's there and there could be something to tie in with it with a theory. But anyway, back to the music video. And we get to another one of my favorite shots of the music video. We get my favorite actor in the whole thing, Jim Dunn. That's right, we get Josh's dog in the music video and he's just such a good boy. And he made his acting debut and I just want to pet him so much. Now look at this image of Josh reading his book. He hasn't noticed Tyler yet. Tyler's just walked up to the counter. Josh hasn't noticed him. However, there's something in the background I want to point out. What is this? That's right, it is the Psy logo in what looks like to be a dollar bill. Stop and buy everything, Dima money, propaganda money. It's like that Big Fun is ran by Dima in some capacity, that if you buy anything from there, you're supporting Dima. And or if you buy something from live.21pilots.com, you are supporting the Dima propaganda train, if in storyline, of course. So that, that's pretty crazy. Also, fun fact with this dollar sign, in the images shown by Tyler on Instagram when he posted the little teasers for this video, you can see that same exact side dollar sign in the background of that shot. As Tyler's kneeling down towards the glass of the display case, we see the coffee mug again, and on the back side it says, Good Day Dima, kind of more of a hint that this could be a Dima ran store operation. And of course, inside the display case, we see one thing, and that is trash. We get a little mini trash inside this whole display case, which is weird that this whole entire display is carrying one tiny object. For now. Interesting thing with the trash figurine is like, it's like Tyler's been looking for this figurine for quite a long time. Like he knew it was going to be in the store and he wants this trash dragon for whatever reason, maybe to get trash out of this toy trash state. As Tyler stands up from this counter saying, hey, can I please buy this dragon? We see a shot of Josh just drumming in the background, ignoring Tyler. 
Much like he ignored Tyler to drum in the Levitate music video when Tyler is being drugged away back to Dima. To, he ignores Tyler again here by kind of doing the same exact thing, except Tyler isn't being drugged anywhere yet. He's saying, hey, can I please have this dragon? Nah, I'm gonna keep drumming. Sir, can I please have this dragon? Nah, I'm gonna keep drumming. Sir, can I please have a waffle? Same energy. So as Tyler starts to walk away in defeat, Josh is going back to reading his book. Then as when Tyler gets about halfway out of the store, we get a shine of blue light, which threw me so off guard when I first saw him. Like, oh, I'm sorry, what is this? I thought I was going to have a whole make whole video on uh, 21 Pilots Multiverse, a T-O-P-C-U, if you will. And... Yeah, I, it, yeah. And this, of course, gets Tyler to walk back to the counter. Now, Josh is putting this something inside of like what looks to be a little tip jar beside the counter. I'm not sure exactly sure what exactly he's putting into what, like this little tiny jug. I just assume it's a tip jar, but he's putting something in there, which is kind of comes back. And when Tyler walks back to the case, we notice that Jim is gone. We all know where he is. And Tyler looks in the case again, and Jim is in there next to Trash. Then, of course, Josh brings out Trash to show Tyler just to put it on the counter. They exchange no dialogue. Josh is still being, like, very judgmental towards Tyler, not acting like a friend at all, which is very weird. Just kind of like, all right, he wants to see it. And Tyler's just kind of looking around, and then he steals Trash, and Josh goes after him. Then we get to the shot that make, that legit made me go, Josh, what the f Cause now Tyler and Josh are doing a chase scene and when we see Josh eggs at big fun, he is carrying this big gun and it threw me so off guard when I saw it. I, I was just like, Josh, what are you doing? No, Tyler, you're out of the band now. I can't take credit on my joke, on that joke. I saw it on Twitter somewhere. There's a lot of great memes on Twitter with this shot in particular, and I absolutely love it. Go check out Twitter for these great choker memes, guys. So as they're running, we get a better shot of Tyler's shirt. And his shirt, yes, I, we're bringing this back up. His shirt says, tree huggers make better lovers, which is, which is a funny shirt. And of course, protect the environment. And it's not something that Tyler would usually wear. Going back to that whole, like he's trying to get remain disguised by wearing non-21 Pilots colors, like the orange beanie, that uh, checkered shirt, the black jeans in this, uh, tree huggers make better lovers shirts chase continues T josh loses tyler then he meets him up in the alleyway when tyler takes a moment to stop look at trash josh surrounds him shoots his gun which turns out to be a net and then we enter jumpsuit territory because we this is the ending of jumpsuit josh like nico is dragging tyler down the road back to big fun back to dima and it is, that is just an interesting parallel to draw there. <laughs> then finally we see that Josh has brought Tyler back to big fun. He points, open his mouth, and then suddenly just his eyes turn blue, his mouth turns blue. We enter big fun again. Josh is putting things back in that jar and Tyler is now a bobblehead. But he's wearing the exact same clothes, and that is your music video for Choker. Putting the music video with the music itself, it's when Tyler starts singing, he's standing in the doorway all sheepishly because he is basically singing about being shy. He doesn't want to bother anyone. And this is very true when he's saying hi to Josh because he just gives him one of the little head things instead of like saying, hey, How's it going? And Josh just goes back to read his book because Josh isn't very nice in this music video. And Tyler sings most of the song like he's in some sort of de defeated state. It's all like shy, timid, and sort of thing. And it reflects in the music video itself. And with the song talking about being shy and like being very timid, maybe Josh drumming is a way to show this because often you won't want to speak out 
just because you don't want to become like cause a distraction like they're busy you think they're busy doing something and you don't want to bother them at all i personally go through this i don't talk to people for that reason i see they're busy i want to talk to them but you want know i'll keep in the background because i know they're busy even though they're probably doing nothing really that important so josh is drumming here and tyler's trying to get their attention however he's too shy and timid to do so and that's why he walks away all defeated back when he's singing about like just then that defeated voice once again when tyler sings you're going to change my circumstance this is one of the only times in the video that tyler sings directly in front of josh and he sings it to trash going back to that thing i said before maybe he wants this trash because he knows it's going to change his situation it's going to change the dima thing almost like going to get out of this place somewhere this little figurine is going to help me to escape whatever state I'm in, whether it be, be Dima, some depression, anxiety, this creative uh, lull, maybe whatsoever, but this trash is going to change the circumstance. Then he looks around and he says, I need to move right now. And then he makes the decision to stand up for himself. The shy kid is going to act and he's going to steal this dragon and run. Now, don't steal kids. It's not cool. Like, Tyler can do it because it's in the music video. But if your name is Tyler out there, don't steal. If, you're, if you have a name, don't steal at all. It is not cool, kids. Don't do it. So... Tyler says, I need to move right now, like looking all around, make sure it's, oh, the coast is clear and emphasizing that this dragon is important to him. Almost like, as I mentioned before, like it's his whole escape from this world and he needs that dragon to move on. That's basically it for when it comes to music with the music video. You, when jo when Tyler sings like all shy and timid, it shows in the music video. And then the big points is you're going to change my circumstance at the dragon and I need to move right now. Also, the rap is very regional at best, like, and I love it. Number one is the clone theory. Yes, I am very strong about the clone theory because I think it, it might be a natural thing because just like the Levitate music video, when Josh is acting so different, like not helping Tyler, even though like Tyler's in some situation being pulled away, Josh is just drumming. And then in this music video, Josh isn't being Tyler's friend, is just ignoring just the cold shoulder to Tyler this entire time. And he shot Tyler. I don't care if it was a neck gun. He he still shot Tyler and drug him back and he turned him into a figurine. This clone is working for Dima, trying to get Tyler back in there somehow, mainly through the means of a figurine because they know the figurine will stop him. This figurine state, Tyler can't act at all. That also gives the clones in the shy way music video some time to shine and act like they are the real thing. Also with the clone thing, there are a lot of people saying that the Josh in the music video wasn't Josh, it was a clone named Jim Dunn. Now, I like this, and a lot of people cite the fact that on the merch store now you can get a Jim Dunn good fun, big fun t-shirt. However, I do want to say that Jim is the dog, and I think we're the dog is selling merch now, and I love it. You know what? Maybe the freaking Jim is behind all the Nico and the Niner stuff. Like, there is a mastermind bishop, and it's Jim. I would, I, I kind of would love that. <laughs> that. That'd be the best. Next, Josh is being mind controlled by the bishops. Now, I'm planning a whole mind control video because it, as in, I'm not mind controlling, a whole Dima mind controlling Tyler and Josh sort of thing because it is a very interesting thing. I need to do more research on it, but it's been on my list of videos to make for quite some time now because if the clone theory fails, the mind control theory has a place to stand on a higher pedestal, maybe. Daniela Wolf, I hope I said your name correctly, posted on one of my things. I saw someone say on another post somewhere that since the song leads into Shy Away, maybe there's a toy Josh somewhere. And when Tyler was turned into a toy, he met up with Josh in another dimension where Shy Away took place. And that explains the living trash swooping in in the Shy Away music video. I like this because I love Toy Story and this is very reminiscent of a Toy Story situation. Also, it is really safe to say that what happened to Trash, what happened to Tyler, happened to Ned, because if you remember, Ned's now a pop vinyl. So the toy thing could be onto something, because now all we need is a Josh toy in the mix. 
The final theory I have, and this has nothing to do with Dima whatsoever, but it is a friends and mental health sort of thing, and this is not really a theory, it's just what I think this video stands for from a mental health standpoint. And that is, you can be so reserved, like your friends who can bring you up, they, they can build you up, can also knock you down and drag you back to wherever you are. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've been in a situation where the friends who have helped me for so long, suddenly, boom, cold shoulder, and they just drag me back down to where I feel like garbage. And like I said, that's happened a lot. Pretty sure like everyone goes through that. And then that's kind of what this video is, to me, is talking about. Like, like you just want to be friends. They're ignoring you. They really ignore you because they just want to keep drumming and not pay, listen to what you're saying. And then they'll just drag you mentally down to this lull again. Anyway, guys, that was your Choker music video analysis. I really hope you enjoyed. Did you see some Easter eggs that I didn't? Please let me know down in the comment section below, as well as your theories. Do you also think it's clones? Do you also think it's mind control? Do you think Jim is the mastermind behind everything? Freaking Jim. But anyway, I would love to know your theories down below, as well as the Easter eggs that I've missed. I do read all the comments, and I try my best to respond when I can. Usually, college has been getting in the way of that recently. However, I'm probably going to go on a big mass reply spree on Sunday. But anyway guys, I will see you in the next video, which will, should be tomorrow, crossing my fingers. Hopefully I have time to make one, because work booked me till 8. But anyway, got 8 p.m. 8 p.m. But anyway guys, I will see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye, good night, and I hope you have a good day.